All right. Hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy hip day. Let's do it. Start each body part with a running in place. So you just follow along. We'll start with running in place today. You can go to the other side. And then we'll start with some squats. We'll do a running in place. We'll do a bunch of planks. A running in place. We can do some big arm circles. And then we'll do some abs. A running in place. And then we'll do our full body. So you guys will let me know what you think, hopefully, if you like it. Go the other direction with our arms. Big, good stretches, wonderful. I was even wondering if we were gonna be able to be outside today, do a little lunges. And then around three o'clock it started snowing. So my outside idea was spoiled today, but maybe in the next few weeks, fingers crossed. Lunge to the right, lunge to the left. Now we're gonna to touch our toes. Just nice, easy bends, touching our toes, getting everything loosened up. Beautiful. Perfect. You can do a little bit of some twists. All right, so in about 30 seconds here, we're going to start off like we usually do with a running in place. If you don't want to do running in place, you'll do high knee. And you'll do that at whatever cadence works for you. Do a quick sip of water. And we're going to get started here in about 10 seconds. Woohoo! Gonna feel good. We're going to rock it. All right. And go. So nice, easy running in place. Get those knees up. Work the arms, pump them. Each time you do running in place, we'll add an arm movement, punching or climbing the ladder, climbing the rope. Add on from there. Awesome, we have about 10 seconds left. Nice. Okay. So then we're going to do our squat series. So we're going to do four squat exercises. The first one, we're going to start with an easy squat. So our feet are just shoulder width apart. We're going to bend, sit down, stand up. So our back is straight, our weight's on our heels. Sit down, stand up. So the first one, we're just going to run through our squats nice and easy. Ready? And go. Down and up. Your hands can be wherever you're comfortable, prayer position, out in front for some balance or stability, hips. Whatever works for you works for me. I kind of like the prayer position, a little gratitude makes me think of when I have my hands in prayer position. And you're just bending at the knees, sitting down, standing up, 10 seconds left. Nice and easy, weights on your heels, you can wiggle your toes. All right, so the next squat we're going to do, we're going to stay in the squat position and we're going to pulse, pulse up. Pulse, pulse up. Again, hands can be however you want. Um, hips out in front of prayer. And we're just going to pulse, pulse, and up. That weight's in the heels. Wiggle your toes. Your back is straight. You are not squatting like this. Your back is straight. Ready? Pulse, pulse, and up. Pulse, up. Nice. Keep it going, nice and cadence. Perfect. And up. The breath is when you're pulsing, so and up. That's your exhaling when you pulse. And up. Great. Five seconds left. All right, so next we're going to do single squats. So single squats, we're going to start on one edge of our mat, and we're going to squat up, squat up. Just back and forth.
four thunder mat really nice and wide and as deep as you can get. Don't feel it in your muscles tomorrow on your quads. Trust me. Ready? We're going to start here three seconds. Big sumo squat and up. And squat up on the other side. Going back and forth across your mat. Deep weight still on your heels. Back is still up. Feel it in your quads. Oh, yeah. About 10 seconds left. Down and up. Great. Five seconds. All right, so the last squat exercise we're going to do is a squat hold. So we're going to get in that nice, easy squat position wherever you're comfortable. We're going to go down for 30 seconds and we're going to hold. If you want to do a little wider for that, that's really nice too. So just find the position you're comfortable in. Take a deep breath and you'll hold nice and deep breaths while we're holding. Core is engaged, weights on your heels. Ready? And down. So we're just holding. So if you want, you can play with your arm position down the front to your hip. Spread. Whatever feels most comfortable. Nice, easy breaths. Feel the burning in your quads. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. You got this. And then after this exercise, we are done with squats. Squat check. Done. We'll move on to plank next. All right, five seconds left. We're almost there. Woo. Shake it out. Oh, yeah. All right, so that was our squat exercise. So the next one, we're going to start with plank. So we're just going to start with a dolphin plank. Which is a plank on your elbows. So your elbows are right under your shoulders. Your core is engaged and you're up on your toes. Your back is as flat as a board. We're going to start here in three seconds. Ready? Go. So again, your spine is straight. Your butt is down. You are not up in plank like this or real sway back with your hips on the ground. You're just hovering. Your neck is a direct extension of your spine, which means your gait is about 18 inches in front of your hands. I tend to have my hands together in dolphin pose, kind of clasp them. It gives me stability like that tripod. 10 seconds left. Engage your core. Pull that belly button up to the ceiling. Beautiful. Five seconds. Awesome. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I want to do a running in place in between each one. So we're going to backtrack for one quick second. We're going to do running in place with punches, and then we'll hop back to our planks. I got a little ahead of myself and a little excited. So we're going to do a running in place or high knee, and we're going to throw some punches. We'll start here in five seconds. All right, so throw those punches. Get those arms going, knees up. High cadence, whatever works for you. Again, if you're doing high knees, then you can throw some punches. That'd be great. I don't know if anybody had a bad day and you want to throw a punch here or there. Mine was actually pretty good. A couple of great births, lots of writing, snowstorm. <laughs> awesome. All right, we're going to head back for plank. So, the next plank we're going to do is just a standard high plank. So, form is where it's at. Your hands are under your shoulders, you're up on your toes, core is engaged. Your back is straight, your neck is a direct extension. You're gonna start back in here in five seconds, ready? All right, up and up, full plank. Belly bones being pulled up to the ceiling. Your hands are right below your shoulders. You don't wanna be back like this. This is not downward dog. We are in plank. Butt is down, spine is straight, gaze is in front of your hands. Get about 18 to 20 inches. Nice, easy breaths. 10 seconds left here. Beautiful, almost there. Awesome. Okay, so for the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna be up in this plank and we're gonna step in, step out. 
Step in, step out. You want to make sure that you're keeping your hands right, your shoulders over your hands, and you're not getting your hands in front of you. That's the tendency. All right, so step in, step out. Step in, step out. When you get to plank, take a second and check your form. Make sure your core is engaged. I inhale when I'm stepping in, exhale when I'm going out. Linking the breath will help a lot. About 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Step in, step out. All right, so for our last plank exercise, and then we're done the plank, we're going to do that up down plank. So, up down plank looks like we start up high, down to dolphin, up to high. Down to dolphin, up to high. The key is you want to keep that core engaged so you're not wiggling all over the place. Ready? Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. You got this. This is hard because it's our last one. And we've been in this position a lot. So if you need to just stay in high plank for a sec, do that, get your form back. Take a breath, down you go. Up, up, good. Less than 10 seconds. That's probably one or two more. Awesome, you did it. So squats are done, planks are done. We're gonna hop back for a running in place. This time we're gonna climb the rope. So running in place, we're gonna climb the rope. Quick sip of water. Five seconds. Ready? Climb that rope, get those hands above your head. Knees are up. Oh yeah. This is the halfway point. Woohoo! Almost there, about 10 seconds. Great, all right, abs. Let's hop on the ground. So we're gonna start with our, I call them toe touches, but it's not really touching your toes. You're just reaching for your toes. Down, you reach up, crunch, and down. Reach up and down. The exhale's on the up. And down. Engage that upper core. And reach for your toes. Reach for that ceiling. Exhale, we go up and down. And down. Good. Keep it up. With about 10 seconds left. Link that breath. Great. All right, we're going to stay on the ground. The next one we're going to do is bicycles. So we're alternating our elbows to a knee. And we're exhaling when our elbow touches the knee. Kicking that leg out. So we're going to start here in just about five seconds. Nice big deep breath. And go. You can go whatever cadence you want. Kick those legs out. Keep your core engaged. You got it. About 10 seconds. You guys, I'm feeling that already. Okay, so what we're gonna do our last two ab exercises are side planes. So we'll start on one side, your elbows directly under your 
your shoulder and your feet are stacked. You can have a foot in front or a hand in front or both stacked. You're going to lift up and come down. Lift up and down. Exhale on the up. Nice. Again, if it feels better to have a foot in front, that's great. Or you can stack and have a hand in front or a hand on your hip. This is where you're going to get that six back, guys. You can work it. 10 seconds left. All right, we're going to hop over to that other side. So same thing, you want to make sure your elbow is right under your shoulder. You're stacked, your legs are stacked, hands on your hip, or hands are a foot in front. Again, please do what feels best for you. Over time, we will all improve. And go. Up. Down. Don't forget to breathe. Some people will fold the end of their mat if it bothers your elbow. Create like a little cushion there. You got it. This is the last of our abs workout. After this, we have five more moves. 10 seconds, you guys. We got this. Last one. Great. All right. Abs. Check. So we'll hop up. And we'll do our last one in place. So however you want to do your arms. You just do them. Go crazy. Get them moving. We'll start that in about 10 seconds, and then we'll do four full body moves, and we'll be done. I kind of like this. It makes it go fast. All right. Also, if you want, kick your legs back this time. Instead of doing high knees, try to kick your feet. So we're almost kicking your butt. Working different muscles. If you like the knees up or high knees, you can do those. But touching in a different way is nice, too. Ten seconds left. All right, our last first full body movement is our reverse lunge. So you're gonna come back and up. Bend both knees, back knee almost to the ground, and up. I alternate my arms to keep, help keep with balance. So my opposite arm goes up. Nice. And step back. The exhale's on the back. When you're bending, you're exhaling. Core is engaged. Don't forget about your core in reverse lunges. Nice. Ten seconds left. Okay, second to last move. Oh, three more moves. Oh, the next one we're gonna do is mountain climbers. So we're gonna get back into that high plank, and we're gonna bring a knee up. And you can go fast or slow. Your butt can definitely be up. Your core is engaged. And you're exhaling when your knee comes up. Ready? Nice and easy cadence. Like I said, you can do a light jog. Some people just like going nice and easy. Other people run it fast. Really keep those shoulders over your hands. I always notice my hands out in front of me. Keep those shoulders in front. Don't forget to breathe. Less than 10 seconds. All right, we're gonna stay on the ground here. Our second to last move is a cross push up. So we're gonna have our knees bent. Our fingers are facing our feet. 
So you're gonna lift up, bend at the elbows, lower your butt, push up. When you're working those triceps, doing those crab push ups. Ready? Bend them up. Just lowering your butt by bending your elbows. Exhale when you bend. Your weights on your heels, your toes are up off the ground. Keep going. About 10 seconds left. And then we have one more move. I bet you can guess what it is. I'm a creature of habit. If you haven't learned that already, that's the truth. All right, last one, burpee. So however you want to do it. Down, step back, step up, jump. Or down, jump back. Or whatever combination you want to do. And if you want to add the push up in there, go for it. Ready? Five seconds. And jump. And you can do a combo of all of them. If you reverse the bottom and you want to go down on your knuckles, that's a good way to do these two. Down. And you can step back and jump forward. Jump back and step forward. Ten seconds. Two more of whatever you're doing. Last one. Woo! Hi. Awesome, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lori. I hope you liked it. <laughs> Thank you. That was How great. Today? It was awesome. See you, guys. See you Sunday. Okay. Thanks.